Hi, my name is Andrew Murray. Hi, and I'm Marie Torres, and today we are going to be talking about blogs. <laughs> blogs. Exactly. We have an information series about blogs we want to share with you. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. And so, like. So, what's the first one? We're going to have a five part okay. series. So, what's so, the first one? Five part series. So the first one is how your blog is the central hub of your business. Um, I know that when we started, and actually, so let's go a few years back, let's say actually 2005, um, okay. I know that when we were building online and building our companies, one of the things that we realized was that we needed to be um, giving ourselves a voice and branding ourselves. And back in 2005, we were talking about websites and not blogs, right? Mm -hmm. um, but really, today it's the exact same thing. Absolutely everybody, if you are building online, if you're trying to generate leads online, you really have to have a blog as the central hub of your business. It's very, very important. Yeah, I mean, one of the things I think is really important is, is that idea of centralizing your business because there's so many different parts. You don't necessarily know what company you're going to be with in two years, in five, years, you know, things may change, but you always want to have a central hub for your business. Mike Diller called this the nerve center of your business. And, you know, we call it the, your, your hub or your headquarters, right? And I think that people need to understand that, you know, their business needs to have a central location because, you know, companies go out of business all the time. Exactly. And I think it's a really good point. I know you might be thinking, well, you're building a company right now, you love that company, but you don't know when things will change. Like you said, I mean, through no fault of your own, you know, sometimes companies, they close. And so when you're building relationships with people online and people are finding you and you're trying to generate leads, you are much better off sending them to a place where they get to know about you. Because again, it's that whole idea of no like and trust. And so that central hub for your business, that blog really gives you that voice that you need in order to um, really connect with your prospects. And, you know, much like Pilates, the blog, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the blog is, is, is the core of your business. You know, if you know anything about Pilates, it's, it's really about, you know, uh, strengthening, your core. strengthening yeah. your core, your abdominal core, um, you know, all that sort of thing. So really a blog is like Pilates for your business. It's, 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 it, it's the core of your business. And, you know, when you really start to think of it that way, you know, and everything else branches out from that, and we'll be getting to those in the future lessons, but just understand that, you know, if you're building a business, you need someplace central, that's going to be your headquarters, you know, your stepping off point from, you know, wherever, you, wherever you're going to take people to YouTube, to connect with you on social media, all these things. And that's what a blog does. And it does it like, not a, like nothing else can, um, not a website. You need to have a blog in order to have that central core uh, stability in your business. Absolutely. Like Pilates. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next lesson, guys. I think you're going to really enjoy it.